Good morning to all. I start with the deepest gratitude to all the realized selves and co-explorers. My name is Jayadish Babu, working as assistant professor in the Department of Physics at Madanpalli Institute of Technology and Science, Madanpalli, Andhra Pradesh. I was born in 1982. My parents are very supportive throughout my life up to now. I got married in 2009 and my wife is also started working in the organization where I work. I have a son of 10 years old and daughter of 6 years old. I have two siblings and all are working we are all meet for festivals at my parents' house. I have enrolled for introductory course UHE1 on June 28, 2021. Since then, I am regularly attending weekly follow-up sessions and monthly combined meetings. I involve myself in the ESIP on Wednesdays. I have attended few sessions on holistic human health, sessions on Fridays. Later, I enrolled and completed Refresher 1 Part 1 in February 2022. Participated in UHV volunteer workshop at Bangalore in the month of April 2022 and came to know about the morning session. So I have registered for fifth batch on May 18th, 2022. Since then, I am regularly attending till date. Started volunteering for few activities in online FDPs in my capacity, such as PPI registration, etc. I took and completed UHV2 workshop in May 2022. Participated in phase two phase workshop held at Palikiri during August 2022 as co facilitator. Took few demo sessions in the weekly meetings and kept my sharing regarding my self exploration. Emerged out of exercise one and two for 5th batch on 13th October 2022 and this was uploaded in UHV YouTube channel. Conducted 15 sessions on UHV during SIP in my institute this year and handled UHV 2 courses for 207 students. Shared values in student workshop during Jan 2023. This is my journey with the UHV. Now let me share my understanding from exercise one and two. So exercise one, observing the self by self. So I started observing my imagination, my desires, thought and expectations. When I did this for first time, I was getting a lot of headache and my thoughts were shifting from one to another and I was analyzing and drifting from one to another. But now with practice, I can see clearly my imagination, especially my feelings. So it is very important step in every interaction now I clearly see my feelings. So previously it was after the event. Now it slowly became like during the event. I'm practicing to see my feeling before something comes in my behavior. So in step two, I clearly observe the feelings that I have 
is naturally acceptable to me or not and i also notice that if the feeling is not naturally acceptable to me then i am not comfortable so in step 4 i can see that i am deciding my feeling i am 100% responsible for my state this is the step that is bringing more clarity and i am so relaxed after seeing this step in me and the complaint about others reduced a lot though the steps 1 to 4 seems to be going very fast but when i see when i ima- when i observe they are very important and i can see my feelings when i observe with awareness i want to share one event with you i started my discussion with my research officer with feeling of opposition and doubt on his intention his over evaluation about him and under evaluation about others created feeling of opposition in me finally the discussion i started resulted into argument and situation got worse he complained on me to the management but after the incident i see my feeling and observed who is responsible for it i am responsible for my feeling undoubtedly coming to step 5 what is the basis for my feeling nowadays i am verifying whether my decisions are based on assumptions or based on understanding whenever i am reacting i observe that my assumptions are playing major role my feelings based on understanding leads to response in me with these feelings i am comfortable within and these feelings are naturally acceptable to me for example whenever i see some students not attending classes wasting their time i assume that they are intentionally missing their classes which brings reaction in me i express it out sometimes but if i understand it it is their lack of competence then i respond and help them to understand same way with my family members colleagues and in the society so whenever i understand and know the things without assumptions i respond with this clarity my feelings which is naturally acceptable to me i am becoming more responsible when i see step 6 what feelings is naturally acceptable to me and what i need to understand i see that the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence is naturally acceptable to me with these feelings i am comfortable peaceful and satisfied i need to understand feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence from uhv i have understood all the nine feelings in relationship starting from trust respect affection care guidance reverence glory gratitude and love having this as information is not helping but understanding them and seeing in everyday life with the content i am living then i can see understanding each feeling may take so many days or years so when it comes to step 7 ensuring these feelings in me all the time is what i am working on now most of the time i have these feelings but whenever i don't ensure them my feelings are in opposition i am in disharmony 
and I don't see coexist. I want to share some incident with you. Recently, I have built a home and everyone is happy about that and they are happy about what we have achieved, but I was not. Usually, I am not excited. This time, I see whether I am harmony inside or not. One of my neighbor went to court and sent me notice for nine inches of land. Though it is my land, he claims that it is his. I talked to him with relationship, but he went to court for justice. I was not reacted, but still I see him with feeling of relationship. Though I spent so much for construction, it is not bringing harmony in me. Every time I go there, I see some disharmony because of this con conflict with the neighbor. So from exercise one, I can clearly see up to step six, ensuring these feelings all the time, feeling of relationship, feeling of harmony and feeling of coexistence is what I am working on now. So coming to exercise two, observing body by the self. I see my body is there from the sensations I am reading. And I am there because I can observe my imagination. Nowadays, I am not calling myself with name. I am saying my name is Jagdish instead of myself is Jagdish. In step two, I am reading the sensation from the body and I am giving the instruction to the body. This transaction between myself and body is only in the form of information so that I can see whenever I see this transaction there is no material transaction happening. From UHV content, these two realities that we un I understood, but when I lose my awareness, then I see I am the body. So in step three, I see that I am responsible for all that I sense. I decide that what sensation I need to read, I noticed that I am not reading all the sensation. I decided to read what is important for me at this point of time. In step four, observing the distance between self and body, when I am feeling pain in the shoulder, I noticed some sounds outside and other sensations in the body. I clearly see that I am not the sensation. And also I am not in the sensation. If I am in the sensation, how can I read this sense? Surely I am at a distance from the sense. In step five we have seen, I saw that there are three Sources of sensations I am reading. I am not reading all of them. I read only few of them. And I associate meaning based on my sanskar. I listen some news about a building is collapsed during construction somewhere. Now I associate some meaning to this sensation reaching to my body. I assume a few things and associate meaning based on my sanskar. I worry too much about my new building. Previously, I used to doubt many things based on assumptions. Now, after knowing the reality, I am purifying my sanskar, one after the another. I am not worried from any physiochemical change around me or sensations that is there in my body. 
but still i am working on sensation from outside and meaning i am attaching to it i see that sanskars based on assumptions are leading to disharmony when i understand the things i am in harmony nowadays i am more calm silent i don't know this calmness is leading to harmony in continuity when i see that my being is there in space i see the coexistence with the existence most of the time i realize this reality now i understand the meaning of worship so it is the expression that i show for those who reached excellence previously i was praying to the god but with the clarity of excellence and the reverence i see that my expression towards people who achieved excellence excellence is the worship now i can see my participation and i am also existence in this coexistence so from exercise 2 i can observe clearly up to step 6 i am working still on few steps few sanskars that i have from both the exercises in the two batches that i have attended i got so much clarity compared to first time this time i have missed two or three sessions due to some personal works house warming functions etc but self exploration never stop it's going on all the time most of the time in the day i listened this time to many co explorers and their sharings i can still remember many names but to mention few like amol ji chandrakala ji srinivas ji so every day i am listening to their sharings in the morning session i see that happiness is my innate nature i am not expecting happiness from physical facilities sensations or body nowadays but still sometimes expecting favorable sensation from other i am seeing the shift in me but there is a long way to go my commitment towards my self development is increasing i am allotting more time for this towards societal transformation i am working very little so i committed to do more but not able to find time to do need to take more demo sessions to understand the content whenever i miss morning session or weekly meeting i am not comfortable recently i missed attending pune workshop but my thoughts were around that workshop though my body is here my thoughts are around the pune meeting i want to associate myself to uh related activities as much as possible right now my focus is to take this content to students in my institute who are in so much depression and ignorance and directionless recently one incident has happened one of the student committed suicide i went for them to take physics class and also uhv though it's not planned in the time table i took the uhv session but why it happened then in one of the meeting i got the answer that we go to the doctor the doctor prescribes the medicine for some disease for treatment if you don't take that we are not going to 
we live from that. So I realize that we are giving the content, but if it's not reaching or if the students are not taking it, how can they see the transformation? I am working on few things, how to bring their attention towards this content. I am calling for follow-up meetings for every 15 days. Right now, the participation is very less. For 500 students who went through UHV content or who is there in my WhatsApp group of UHV, only five students attended. But I continued this. The next week, 15 came. And the next week, the number is increased. So I will continue these UHV activities in my capacity. With this, I thank each one of you for supporting me to reach towards my excellence. Though I have not reached excellence, I wanted to be there. So thank you very much for all the resource persons, mentors, and co-explorers. There are many to thank, but we are UHV family, so we are together for each other. Thank you very much. Namaste. Namaste to all. Namaste, Jagdish Prabhuji. Namaste. Prabhuji. Nice to hear you. Very um, sort of, you have been there uh, last time also. We heard your sharing in the last uh, batch also. And uh, what you mentioned, you know, some shifts in the first uh, time also they were there. And I can see that many questions were there the first time. And now questions have reduced probably because we can see that this is what we need to do. And the work has to be done within. So now, you know, theoretically or as per the information, we have all the answers. But now the work of observing within, that has to be done within us. And so less of questions are there and more of the observation part has to be there. So in that context, I just wanted to mention some things that, you know, to be... I would say for all of us to be able to see what we are actually able to see and what is something that we may be analyzing and trying to see. That difference, to be able to see that. And now, once we are able to see our feeling, once we are able to see that this feeling is making me comfortable. And whenever I have a feeling that is that I am not comfortable with, a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to me. Now, if I ask myself why, why I had this feeling, it will lead to you know, the sanskar or the assumption behind it. And to be able to explore the sanskars, you'll find that there are many, 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 many layers of sanskars. Even uh, if you look at a sanskar that is superficial and you think that you have gotten over it, but then you find there is a deeper sanskar linked to it, which has led to this other sanskar. So, for instance, Say if I, uh, you know, as an example, now if I get annoyed or upset about something, somebody says something, I get upset. If I see this feeling, I can see that this feeling is not naturally acceptable to me. And at that point, if I see that the other is just expressing whatever you know, is his state or her state, 
then i am able to become calm but then it happens again that kind of reaction may happen again now each time when i am seeing this that it is actually the others lack of competence you know having trust on intention of the other i can see this now yet that reaction happens again even though it's happening you know i am able to pick it up earlier but another thing that to you know keep track of is that many of these sanskars that are driving this feeling they are triggering it so one thing is the other state the other thing for example may be that say i was rushing to work and i was anxious about getting to work in time at that point somebody says something now it is my own anxiety that has led to this discomfort within me and that has triggered my reaction so here one sanskar that may be there was that this about anxiety about getting to places in time being able to uh, you know that may be like uh, time may be significant for me something like that then if we go deeper there may be some other sanskar behind that and so on so uh, slowly we have to start looking at that also and we'll find that in fact these um, become visible when we are trying to focus on what is right so not that we have to try to find which sanskar and how many sanskars are left and so on but if we focus on what is right what is naturally acceptable then we'll be able to uh, see this that this is clearly not acceptable to me and it will drop off but as a natural process you, you can start seeing that that was one thing i was thinking of the other thing about the student part that you mentioned uh i think we can try to see you know uh, take their feedback about what they would like or what is of concern to them perhaps they are not coming because they don't think it's important or they don't think it's relevant at this time because the academics is important but if it could if they could see that this is going to help them in their academics also they may have a different idea about it so of course even if there are five students four students if we do this but we also listen to their concerns listen to you know what they have to share perhaps uh, you know it may help us to sort of mold our programs so that they can see that this is something useful to them like for instance in this morning session nobody is getting any reward or you know any uh, anything everybody has busy lives everybody is busy with their own works but people are joining and nobody is asking that you have to join or you must come but people are coming why we are all joining because it is something that we find useful for us in day to day life so when it comes to that you know their whether it be concerns regarding their relationships at home or academics or whatever if those can also be answered through these you know um, through this follow up meetings then perhaps they will it will be a natural thing for them to just join and listen so that was just one suggestion and um time is also up but i just wanted to say that uh, of course uh, you are you know the volunteering is there and the exploration is there to continue with your exploration and all the very best of wishes from my side thank you devi